Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe Audition CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add bus tracks in the multi-track editor. So you can add effects and processing to multiple tracks all on one bus track. So here I am in a multi-track session. This is a sample podcast interview. On track one, I have the host dialogue. On track two, I have the guest dialogue. And on track three, I have this music bed. And this bottom track is the mix or the master track that's automatically created whenever you create a new multi-track session. To add a bus track, make sure you're on the inputs and outputs tab. Go to the outputs dropdown. That's the arrow facing to the left. Click on the arrow. Go to bus, add bus. And since this is a dialogue track, I'm going to add a mono bus track. So I'll click to create the bus track. First, I'm going to rename the bus track to keep things organized. So I'll just click in the header. I'll call it host and guest bus. Hit enter or return. And I want to bring this below the guest track. So I'll just click on this left side and drag it below. If I look at the host track, I can see that the output is set to the bus track and I want to do the same for the guest. So I'll just come down to the output, click bus, and I'll select that host and guest bus track that we just created. And now I can add effects and processing on this bus track only. And that is going to affect the host and the guest tracks since I have the output being routed to the bus track. So here's what the dialogue sounds like before I add any effects. I'm just gonna mute the music bed and I'll tap the space bar. Here's the host track. Hi there, my name is Mike Murphy and this is a pretend podcast. And here's the guest track. My name is also Mike Murphy and I am the guest. And now I'm gonna select the bus track. I'm gonna go to the effects rack. If you don't see the effects rack, just go to window, effects rack, then make sure you have track effects selected. I can add individual effects such as compression or EQ, or I can click on the drop down and select one of these presets. I'm going to choose this AM radio so it's really easy for you to hear. So the AM radio effect is on the bus track. When I select the host track, notice there are no effects in the effects rack. The same on the guest track, there are no effects. But when I press the space bar, you will hear that the AM radio preset has been applied to both tracks. So I'll click. Hi there, my name is Mike Murphy, and this is a. If I go to the guest, and I am the, the guest same thing of this podcast, Mike. So anything you do to this bus track is going to affect any track where you have the output set to that bus track. And because the output for the music bed is being routed to the mix or the master track and not the bus track, the bus track is having no effect on this music bed. So when you want to control multiple tracks all on one track, consider using bus tracks to speed up your audio workflow. You can add as many bus tracks as you want and you can also add bus tracks from the top menu. If you click on multi-track tracks, there you have the options. That is Bus Tracks in Adobe Audition CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.